Hi everybody. Today we are going to talk about money saving driving techniques. Not necessarily the fuel saving techniques are valid here, all of them, but some of them are. So basically, let's start calculating first. If I'm driving 100 kilometers per hour speed, about 400 kilometers, it takes me four hours to drive it. If I'm driving 132 kilometers per hour, that same 400 kilometers, it takes me three hours to drive it. So I save one hour of my time. And it depends how much you evaluate your time and how much your car burns fuel. On my Lupo, if I drive 132 kilometers per hour, it's about 1.2, 1.5 liter bigger fuel consumption in the winter and in the summer only three, one liter bigger fuel consumption. So it, in euros, I lose uh, about eight to nine euros on that 400 kilometers leg, but it depends what what how salary you calculate to your own time and at least in my case it will get positive result if i drive faster so usually i am driving quite fast on these roads over the speed limits but still trying to drive fuel efficiently by that i mean don't make any full passings where you have to brake right after you have passed someone to brake behind that other car in front of him. So only make passes where you can pass the whole queue or you don't have to brake when you go by a one car. But it's not fuel efficient to take over cars one by one. Uh, it's much fuel efficient if you try future speed and go past the whole trail of cars. Also, when you are driving fast, there is also always a risk to get the speeding tickets. And now we are going to talk about that. It's always wise to drive in the draw dark because usually there are less, less police officers on the road even if there is not so much traffic anyway, so you can drive faster because you don't have to pass cars and you don't have to drive behind other cars but also in the night you cannot see those uh, speed measuring traps which are on the side of the roads that's why it's crucial that you buy a navigator which warns you about the speed traps and always follow the laws in your country. Some, some countries doesn't allow the navigator to beep from these cameras, but at least in Finland it's allowed. So you can save already lots of euros if you don't get speeding tickets of that, those fuel cameras, because all navigators warn, warn you where, where they are. Uh, second trick is always use the navigator because usually when it's dark the police aren't waiting you in the bus stops but they are facing you on the oncoming traffic that means that they will pass you and go behind you and it's very wise to always watch the brake lights from the mirrors because if you see a brake lights it usually means that that car is a police car, especially if it makes a U-turn, then you are 99% sure that it's a police car and no other, other passenger vehicle. When you notice that kind of behavior, you have about 30, 30 seconds to one minute gap to escape from the situations. Usually they don't turn off the alarm lights when, before they make a U-turn because that they are taught that if they do that they 
Usually the guys try to escape by driving off very fast. In this case it might, might be so also, but when they haven't turned off their warning light or stopping lights in Finland, it's the red light, which means you are not not driving away from them, so they cannot accuse you from driving away from them. So you have about 30 seconds to watch from your navigator where you have a conjunction to the right or the left and try to make it so that they haven't seen you if you have driven off from the road. Like in these situations, I have cars behind me in front of me and they don't know I am one of those lights which are here or did I pass to some smaller roads. So that is the safety technique to avoid speeding tickets during night. Also if it's a traffic is not so high, one thing is you can always do if you are driving faster than you should is to slow down where you see lights coming in front of you because you are not so hurry in most cases that you cannot slow down a little bit to face the oncoming car and speed up after that. Usually you can just glide which actually saves fuel and pass the car. So here we make one pass Drive the speed limit, which is here about 100 at the moment, so we are speeding a little bit. But right now I can see there are, there are lights coming, so basically I just slow down according to the speed limit. And always when it's dark, it's wise to have someone in front of you who is also driving fast. So that triggers the police to stop the guy in front of you and you can drive about 500 to 1 kilometer after him and drive the same same speed as he does. In this case this is car this car is going about 120 kilometers per hour here. And if I follow him in this long uh, the police will make a U-turn before they reach me and they will stop probably the guy in front of me. So this is also one very good technique. Also in the daylight to drive behind someone who is also driving fast. But be lots of behind him depending how much twist and bends. Again you see the brake lights and you can assume there is something in front of me. It can be also mooses or something else. But these are the most simple, simple driving techniques to save fuel or money in this case when driving on the night. There are lots of others but I may, may continue this series later on. But the biggest, biggest things which save you money is that you buy the navigator which warns you about the speed traps or the speed traps in on the side of the road and also you see where the next conjunction is so you can duck the police if they make a U-turn before they can see you where you have gone. Also when you are driving in the night and if you are especially driving very fast the your best friend is your side mirror. In this case, there is a car coming behind of me, which is driving faster than me at the moment, because I am driving under the speed limits at the moment. So, if I'm driving over the speed limit and suddenly some car starts to chase you and catch you up, again, the odds are about 70 to 80 percent that the car is a police car because most of the cars don't drive over the speed limits at least in Finland and also of course it depends how how much faster you are driving than the speed limit in this case it also helps if you know which kind of lights have which car this is a BMW and I'm